talking about break glass accounts in Microsoft 365. And you're familiar with this term from on-premise days where you have an account, it's an emergency account, not tied to a user or service account, but it's used if you lose access to the uh, system or if your account gets compromised or locked out, you can use this uh, backdoor account to get back in. And so we always recommend customers have at least one of these break glass accounts. This is gonna protect you if your domain is federated and something happens to the federated IDP. Uh, let's say Okta goes down or ADFS goes down. You're no longer able to log in with those or your regular admin credentials or your MFA solution goes down. Ping Federate goes down or Azure MFA goes down. Um, these break glass accounts are great about getting around that. Also, from a conditional access policy, if you've locked yourself out, which we all have, um, you can use the break glass account. Other things, you, your PIM service might be down, privileged identity management, uh, or something's wrong with your MFA device. Let's say your cell phone refuses to boot up or you've lost your cell phone and you need to log in and remote wipe it. Um, for these reasons, we have these break glass accounts. So when you're creating this account, there's a few best practices that we recommend. First, you want it to be a cloud account. This prevents it from being locked out from MFA issues or PIM issues, federation issues. So make it a cloud account. Another thing is to allow it to bypass MFA, right? Again, if we're protecting against the catastrophe or DR of your MFA solution going down, we don't want this account to also be um, impacted by that. Also set the account not to expire. Um, you should also make this a permanent global admin. So if you're using PIM properly, you'll be familiar with eligible global admins. No, in this case, you want it to be a permanent global admin. Also set the password to never expire. Um, make it very long and complicated. We always suggest 25 character, uh, alpha numeric and symbols. Uh, so length of 25 with these break glass accounts. Also make sure to validate it as part of your business resumption or DR plan. Um, this is important because we, we treat it as break glass, but if it can't break glass, it's not doing its job. And then the most important thing we recommend is monitoring and auditing this account. So, you know, we're giving this account really high per permissions and we want to know and be notified whenever it logs in. To start, we have to create the account. So inside of Azure Active Directory, we're going to go to our users and create a new user. We want to make this username pretty obvious for other global admins. So I recommend like emergency admin. And remember that we want to make it a cloud only account because we don't want federation to get in the way of logging in. Under password, we want to set a very complicated long password. I always recommend 25 characters or more. Um, under our roles, we're going to assign the global admin role. And then we're going to hit create. Now that the account is created, we're going to set up monitoring on the account. So inside of Azure Active Directory, we have the ability to ship our logs over to Log Analytics. Under Diagnostic Settings, you can set up a connection to Log Analytics in Azure. I've already done that in this case. Um, if you don't know how to do that, there's a great link right here or check the description and I'll link to it. So inside of our logs, we want to highlight whenever uh, someone goes to the sign-ins where 
user principal name equals equals emergency admin. Remember, this is a cloud account, so always put the Microsoft.com. Wonderful. And then run. So great. No syntax errors. We want to make sure that there are no syntax errors before we set up the alert. Um, and this is the best way to do that. So from here, go ahead, click new alert rule. And this sets up an alert inside of your um, uh, log analytics. We're going to click on this and we're going to make sure, edit the signal, make sure that everything stayed the same. We're searching the log sign in logs where user principal name equals. Um, and we're going to say, you know, uh, if any, uh, any results get returned from this query, go ahead and uh, issue the alert. Uh, we want to evaluate it every five minutes, um, and this makes it as quick as we can. Click done. And then the action group is where the alert is going to be sent. If you're not familiar with action groups, uh, there's a great write-up on them. I'm not going to go into too much details because you can uh, go down a rabbit's hole with, you know, do you want to do SMS for this action? Uh, the action group do you want to do email you can even wire up webhooks uh, azure functions very complicated stuff for this demo we're just going to keep it simple i have an action group called security admins and they just have one email it's my email address so i'm going to select that um, and then we get to specify details about the rule so break glass account was used this alert notifies of the break glass account use all right and we're going to make this a sev1 uh, because again if if someone's using this account we want everybody to uh, get that and be alerted. So create the rule. And this will take a few minutes up oh, very quick. So now we can test out our alert. So I always recommend do this in an in private browser. Let's log in. Sign in. Paste in our very complicated long password. And now we're in. So within five minutes, I should receive a notification that this account has logged in. And sure enough, uh, Azure is going very quickly today. So. Trying to shrink this down. Uh, and you can see we have a break glass rule. We have triggered um, the break glass where the sign in user principal name uh, was matched. So it's pretty quick to set up these alerts. Uh, a few gotchas with the log analytics. Number one is that you have to have an Azure uh, an Azure subscription, so you do have to sign up for one of those. Number two, the sign-in logs are part of a P1 plan, Azure AD P1. So uh, the account that you're setting up needs to have um, the account that's setting up the uh, log analytics is your P1 account. So you need both of those things. But once you get it working um, you'll you'll find out that it's really quick to create the break glass account and it really does save you if anything happens to your mfa or your conditional access policies your federated 
uh, federated IDP. So hopefully you all enjoyed this, found this useful. If you liked it, please click the like button down below. And if you like these types of videos, please click subscribe. Thank you.